What's going on everybody? I just wanted to hop on here real quick, talk to you about the trash can cleaning business. I get a lot of questions about it all the time. So I figured while I'm driving to my next location, I'd give you guys a, a quick uh, rundown. The biggest question I get all the time is, man, how much money are you making? Right now it looks very transparent. You know, so I'll let you know before you get into this business to really do your research and know your area. Just because you have a lot of people in your area and there's no one doing it there does not mean that you're about to just take it to the bank and start making all this money. I see a lot of people on YouTube making videos saying you can make this much money a day. People that I know that's been in this market for a while, the ones that are making that money, they put a lot of work into it. I mean, like two to three years into it. I've been into it now seven months. There's a lot of expenses that come with this business, especially if you're gonna get um, a truck. I got a 150,000 plus dollar truck. Payments is uh, right around 3K a month. Not to include, you have to change the oil. There's two different parts on here that you have to put regular gasoline. And then you also have to put diesel and another part of the truck. So you're not only putting gas in this truck, but you're putting diesel in another part of the truck for the hot water heater and stuff. Um, all that stuff starts to add up. Um, to properly run this business, I would need about 4,500 to maybe 5K. I'm barely making $3,000 a month and I've been at this. So um, I'm in a market that nobody's really in. There's about 200,000 people here. Yes, I am marketing. I'm hitting, I'm knocking on doors, I'm putting out flyers. I mean, I'm in the trenches, but just cause, like I said, just cause you think that there's nobody in your market and you're just gonna go make a big investment and then all of a sudden you're gonna hit the ground rolling and all of a sudden you're gonna be doing 15, 20, 30 trash cans. Now, you, it's gonna take a minute before you work up to that many customers and stuff. Um, so I'm really trying to educate a market that has never seen this before and stuff so um yeah yeah so i'm not i'm not gonna sugarcoat shit. so I, I i'm not gonna lie i was excited i'm still excited about the business because i know it's gonna do well it's just a lot of groundwork that you got to put into it to really make it profitable and stuff i'm not gonna lie that there there there's days where i i be asking myself man should i got this damn truck it always seems like a a good idea until you actually get it and then it's like, damn, maybe this wasn't a good idea. Um, I'm used to this type of adversity. I have another business and that's why I'm able to step away from that business because I have a full-time manager that runs my uh, fitness facility, which allows me to really focus and- In two miles, take the exit toward South Central Texas Expressway. Again, do your market research before you go out making these big investments. Do polls on Facebook, different social media outlets. Ask people like, hey, are you interested in the service? If you were, like, how much would you pay for it? Just get a, get as much data as you can before you just jump out, buy a bunch of equipment. Actually, take that back. It probably costs a little bit more than $5,000 to run this business. Um, I didn't take into consideration that I also put about $1,200 into Facebook marketing too. So if you don't have the capital to sustain this business, then, you know, it's, you, you could be hurting. So yeah, really make sure you look at all your costs for everything. Cause there's a lot of costs that I wasn't expecting that I'm running into now that God willingly, I have another business that I can use. I hate doing it, but I'm having to use some of those funds just to keep this up can't continue to keep doing that so um <clears throat> i really need to uh, step my game up and so there's a lot more stuff that's involved if you got any questions feel free to shoot me anything you got i'll try to answer the best i can and um yeah that's about it